Square roots or radicals. How to simplify square roots or radicals using prime numbers. What are they? A square root of a number is a value that, when multiplied by itself, gives a number. Why? Carpenters, engineers, and architects use them. Interesting fact. The jaguar's preferred habitat is dense rainforest, but they are also found across other forested areas and open plains. Now here are the examples we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Now let's read the steps. Step one, rewrite using factor pairs. Step two, keep going until R are prime. Step three, find two prime numbers that are the same. Step four, simplify. Let's read the question. Simplify the expression square root of 20. The first step that we need to do is find a factor pair of 20. Remember, a factor pair is just two numbers that multiply to the original number, in this case, 20. The factor pair that we're going to be working with is 2 and 10. There are other factor pairs, but 2 is a prime number, and we want all the numbers to be a prime number. Now, if we're not yet comfortable with factor pairs, another way to look at it is 20 is even. So we can divide by 2 and keep dividing until all the numbers are prime numbers. Now we have the square root of 2 times 10 underneath the square root sign. Let's find a factor pair of 10. Let's bring down the prime number that we already have, the 2. And now let's find a factor pair of 10. And the factor pair that we're going to be working with is 2 and 5. Another way of thinking about it is dividing by 2. Since 10 is even, we can divide 10 by 2 and the result is 5. So now we have the square root of 2 times 2 times 5 underneath the square root sign. Let's find two numbers that are the same. We have two 2's. We've now circled them. And now we're going to combine them by writing them as 2 squared. Now let's bring down the 5. Now we have the square root of 2 squared times 5 underneath the square root sign. Let's go ahead and separate them using the product property of square roots. So now we have the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 5. And since square and square roots are inverses, we can go ahead and cancel the operations above the 2 and just leave the 2. And now let's write down what we have so far. We have 2 times the square root of 5. Now we're going to get rid of that multiplication sign. And our final answer is going to be 2 times the square root of 5. That is example 1. Let's move on to example 2. Let's read the question. Simplify the expression negative square root of 105. The first step that we need to do is find a factor pair of 105 or two numbers that multiply to the original number, in this case 105. And the factor pair that we're going to be working with is 3 and 35. There are other factor pairs, but 3 is the next prime number and we want all the numbers to be a prime number. Now, if you realize that the other factor pair could be 5 and 21. We would still get the same answer. We're going to continue with what we have so far. And if we are not yet comfortable with factor pairs, another way to look at it is 105 is divisible by 3, and we keep dividing until all the numbers are prime numbers. And now we're going to find a factor pair of 35, or two numbers that multiply to 35. We've already brought down the 3, which is a prime number. And now we need to find a factor pair of 35, or two numbers that multiply to 35. The factor pair that we're going to work with is 5 and 7. Now if we take a look at the prime numbers, 3, 5, and 7 are all prime numbers. So we are done. And we don't see any two prime numbers that are the same. So that means we can't simplify this number. So we're going to multiply the 3, the 5, and the 7 back together. And we get 105. So our final answer is going to be negative square root of 105. That is example 2. Let's move on to example 3. Let's read the question. Simplify the expression square root of 72. Our first step we need to do is find a factor pair of 72, or two numbers that multiply to the original number, in this case 72. The factor pair that we're going to be working with is 2 and 36. There are other factor pairs, but 2 is a prime number, and we want all the numbers to be a prime number. If you're not yet comfortable with factor pairs, Another way to look at it is 72 is even, so we can divide by 2 and keep going until all the numbers are prime numbers. Now we're going to find a factor pair of 36, or two numbers that multiply to 36. We brought down our only prime number so far, and the factor pair that we're going to be working with 
436 is 2 and 18. Now, in this case, once again, we divided by 2, and 36 divided by 2 is 18. Now, if we chose a different factor pair, and we kept going, we would still get the same answer. Now we have the square root of 2 times 2 times 18. So let's find the factor pair of 18, and let's bring down our prime numbers, and a factor pair of 18 is going to be 2 and 9. Another way of thinking about it is dividing 18 by 2, since 18 is even, and the result of that is 9. And so now we have the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 9. Now let's find a factor pair of 9. We brought down the prime numbers that we have so far, and a factor pair of 9 is going to be 3 and 3. So now we have the square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And now we need to find two prime numbers that are the same. So let's go ahead and circle two twos, and now we can transform that to 2 squared. And let's check to see if we have two prime numbers that are the same. And we have two threes. Let's circle those. And now let's transform that into 3 squared. And now we only have one number that's not circled. And that is the middle 2. Let's go ahead and bring that down. And now we have the square root of 2 squared times 3 squared times 2. Let's go ahead and separate these numbers using the product property of square roots. So now we have the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 3 squared times the square root of 2. Let's simplify the square and square root above the number 2. They cancel because they are inverses and we're just left with the number 2. Let's do the same to the square and square root above the number 3. Since they are inverses, they cancel and we're just left with the number 3. Let's write down what we have so far. Now we have 2 times 3 times the square root of 2. Let's go ahead and multiply the numbers in front of the square root sign. 2 times 3 is 6. And we've dropped the multiplication sign. And our final answer, for example 3, is 6 times the square root of 2. Now let's move on to example 4. Now let's read the question. Simplify the expression negative square root of 41. Our first step is to find a factor pair of 41, or two numbers that multiply to 41. The factor pair that we're going to work with is 1 and 41. Wait a minute. There is 1 and 41. This is the only factor pair for 41, so that means we're going to go ahead and multiply those numbers back together because 41 is prime, and that means negative square root of 41 is our answer. Now it is your turn to go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer the question, and I will show you the result in 3 two, and one. If you got it correct, congratulations. If not, there's always tomorrow.